Good morning. How are you, friends? Today we are going to talk about conditional probability word problem. So without further ado, I share my computer screen with you. A student goes to the library. Let B is equal to event that the student checks out a book. Let D is equal to the event that student checks out a DVD. Let P of B probability of B is 0.4, probability of D is 0.3, and probability of D given B has occurred is 0.5. There are three parts to the problem. Part A, point probability of B prime. Okay, so it is the opposite of B. Okay. And find probability of D and B. And part C, find probability of B given D has occurred. So, let's find the solution to these parts. The probability of B prime, which is opposite of B, is 1 minus probability of B. Okay. So this is equal to 1 minus 0 0.4 is equal to 0 0.6. So that's the answer. Okay. 0 0.6. The probability of B prime which is the complement of the event B or the opposite of event B is equal to one minus 0.4. One minus probability of B, one minus 0.4 is equal to 0.6. So this is part A. Now we will do part B. Find probability of D and B. Now probability of B Sorry, D and B. So probability of D given B has occurred before is already given to us is 0 0.5. Now probability of D given B has occurred already is probability of D and B divided by probability of B. Okay, now probability of D given B has already begin, been given to the us in the problem statement. It is 0 0.5 is equal to probability of D and B divided by probability of B. And that is also given to us is 0 0.4. So this is 0 0.5. Now I will multiply both sides by 0.4, okay. Multiply by 0.4, multiply the right hand side of the equal to sign by 0 0.4 also. When you do that, this 0 0.4 cancels with this 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.2 is probability of D and B. So that is the answer for part B. Okay. Now let's move the screen a little bit. Okay. And then they have asked us to in part C. So let's move it a little bit up. Okay, so part C, they ask us to find, find probability of B given D. So part C, probability of B given D has occurred is equal to probability of B and D divided by probability of B. Now, B and D is equal to the same as D and B, which is 0 
divided by probability of B, which is uh, 0 0.4. Okay, so that is 0 0.4, and that is equivalent to 2 divided by 4, which is half, which is 0 0.5. And probability of D, given D has occurred before, is 0 0.5. Let's answer for part C. I will stop here today. If you have any comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please let your friends know about it so that you and your friends can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And I will see you next time when I come back with another interesting problem, interesting solution. In the meantime, take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.